Yetzaba. Okay, welcome back to another video. Adamis is here. We're gonna. He's always flexing. We're gonna work on shoulders today, and I want to show you the most important shoulder exercises you have to do if you want to get bigger and rounder shoulders. Do you know the exercises that we're gonna do? Uh, biceps curls. Uh, All right, I can never ever ask him a question, so we're gonna start with compound movements, barbell shoulder press. First, um, there are different ways. You can do it seated, standing, uh, use momentum, don't use momentum. We're gonna go through every single one of them that I personally think are the, the key uh, exercises if you wanna get stronger and make uh, your muscle bigger. Alamis has a pretty oh. good shoulder, but he's doing bicep curls all day long. Best exercise for shoulders. <laughs> okay. No, don't listen to that. Oh my God. Never listen to me. Okay, after the warm-up, uh, this is a general warm-up, you're just gonna jump around with the jump rope for uh, five to 10 minutes. I just did five minutes. Um, I already feel it in my shoulders. Now we're gonna do a very specific warm-up with dumbbells. Why dumbbells? Because it's easier, you can just use the 10 pounds, 15 pounds, whatever you, you know, can handle as a warm-up. Again, this is not for you to um, challenge yourself and be like, okay, I wanna do five reps max. This is really like a weight you can do 25 to 30 reps easily. After that, we're gonna jump right into uh, another warm up, which is a barbell uh, shoulder press warm up with just the bar. The barbell is 45 pounds, and then we're gonna add some weight. warm-up is gonna be with the barbell what I want you to do is basically bring it up we dive through this is a more explosive uh, movement right here shoulder is ready for some weight we're gonna um, start very light probably just tens on each side go for 15 reps and then add more weight to it until um, we hit a weight that suits us for 8 to 12 reps um, we're gonna do four sets of these so the sets start when we hit the weight between 8 and 12 if that makes sense does it make sense mm -hmm. perfect to 10 rep range. Every shoulder workout I start with barbell press um, either yeah, the one that you just uh, saw, like a clean and then a standing uh, shoulder press. Or um, I do it seated, but I never start with dumbbells. You can go way higher with like a barbell and on top of that, it's a compound movement if you have to clean it all the time. Um, and then you can also, I don't want to say cheat, but you can help, you can help yourself when it gets um, really heavy. You just bend your knees a little bit, use that momentum and get explosive over your head. Uh, then, now we're moving on to dumbbell lateral raises. Um, why am I doing lateral raises right after a shoulder press is because um, I did one movement above my head so now I want to um, focus on the lateral area of the shoulder really go up right there um, for the lateral raises I tend to go higher in reps between 15 and 20 um, slow it down so I try not to like use my my legs uh, to use the momentum I really want to just bend my knees a little bit and come up here and have like a really slow motion, not slow motion, but like slower 
all up, but still full range of motion. That's where I stop. I see a lot of people do this. But that's not what we want to do. I'll show you. Um, so we'll probably start with 15. See how we feel today. So like I said, I bend my knees a little bit, um, chest high, and then I try to go up here, and that's all it is. Next exercise, because I'm from Austria, Arnold Press. Arnold Press. Arnold Press. Arnold Press. Yeah, there's like a good German out. Arnold Press. No, we're gonna do Arnold Press. Um, 8 to 12 reps and here we go on this one I'm not gonna go all the way in uh, you probably saw that in the beginning when I did a warm-up I went all the way range of motion bam, bam. but now I want to start just straight up down one <sighs> God, look who showed up. This tiny little baby. How is he doing, baby? Um, not so good. We called oh. the wildlife people. Are you feeling better? To help him out. So this tiny little bird flew against the window earlier and we tried to save it. We got it inside because it was so hot outside. Um, give him some uh, give it some water, some food, and now they're gonna come and pick it up. Here, here, here. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm gonna get you back on track. Man. Last but not least, one of my favorites, front raises. I usually do them with um, a plate, 25 pound plate, um, and then really go all the way, full range of motion so I don't stop. I know on top um, there's not really a lot of tension on the muscle, but I still like the feeling of full range of motion. Just hold it up there for a little bit. Um, this basically helps me just get the feeling of, you know, just having weight over my head um, for like the overhead press for the clean and jerks and like everything else. Uh, so that's the reason why I go all the way and don't stop where the tension is the highest. Like right here, tension, tension, and now no tension on my shoulder, but I still like the, the weight on my, um, on my arms and like really just, you know, I just like the feeling of having weight over my head because this is good for like overhead squats. Like I'm just getting used to like holding weight above me if that makes any sense. Um, so now we're gonna go for 15, now we're gonna go for 12 to 15 reps. Um, and that's the last exercise for today. We might do some uh, rear delts later, some face pulls, but for now these are the ones that I want you to do. All right, here we go. I think I can do more today. I feel good. Um, might be able to do 35 pounds. <laughs> There's an airplane right I above know. my head. <laughs> we increased to 35 pounds. Um, additionally, to like front raises, besides the fact that you work your shoulder, you also work on your uh, grip strength because you have to hold the plate and it's a pretty thick plate as well. Um, and you will also feel it on your abs. Like when you really do slow motion, not slow motion, I always say that. When you do it slower than usual, um, you'll feel it on your abs as well. So let's go for 12. Here we go. I felt that I used a lot of momentum because I got tired, but 
it's totally fine. Um, I still felt uh, the tension on my shoulder, and I think the pump is here. Is it here? Uh, I can see a pump. Yeah, right here? there. Here. Oh, yeah, right. Oh yeah, there, there, there it is. All righty, guys. That's it for today's video. Um, these are the exercises I want you to do if you want to get a bigger, stronger, more like a rounder shoulder. Um, these help me personally a lot. There are so many different uh, ways to work your shoulders, but these are the four exercises that I did to get a rounder, bigger, stronger shoulder. Let's do a quick recap. We did a warm up, a uh, general warm up, then a specific warm up with dumbbells uh, and then barbell. And then we started doing four sets of eight to 12 um, barbell shoulder press. So we did the lateral raises. Uh, rep range changed from uh, 8 to 12 to 15 to 20. Arnold. Then we did Arnold press uh, and after that we did some front raises with 25 pounds uh, and then we increased it to 35 pounds. Um, that is it. If you want to add one more I would recommend doing face pulls because then you can get the back of your shoulder as well. Um, also some upper back but we did back yesterday that's why I didn't do it because we did face pulls yesterday, but it's a great exercise for a shoulder day as well. Now we're gonna go for a short little run. It's just like a, a recovery run. It's not fast. It's, we're gonna chat while running, so not really too fast. Um, but yeah, it's probably gonna add 2,000, 3,000 steps to our count today. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we're doing 10,000 steps every single day. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, there's more information on my stories, on my timeline. <coughs> wow! <clears throat> on my timeline. And don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, it helps me with the algorithm, you know how it goes. Um, yeah, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.